Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we've got the new legends currently in the game which if you guys did not already see my video last night, the new legends for today are Mark Clayton and also Eric Weddle. In my opinion honestly two pretty good players. Uh, Eric Weddle is like the Debatably the best coverage safety in the game because he's over 90 man. Uh, he also is over or can get to 99 zone. I should say free safety anyways because obviously at strong safety we have Isaiah Sim, which that card is just cracked. Uh, but Eric Weddle, really good, pretty comparable to Sean Taylor. It's basically, do you want like, do you want someone that can cover and man coverage better? Go with Eric Weddle. If you want someone that's gonna be able to lay the boom and maybe be a little bit more physical, you go with Sean T. I personally think Sean Taylor is better, but Eric Weddle. He's there. A couple different theme teams. Go ahead and pick him up. And Mark Clayton, which look at that card art right there, dude. He's wearing sunglasses in the picture. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Joey B. Cool for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below, Nota Gang. Mark Clayton is one of those players that, like, was like one of the best wide receivers in the game at the beginning of Madden 21. So it kind of gives me that like nostalgia feeling when they drop players like him. Same thing with like Jermichael Finley. He was the best tight end in the game for a while. Mark Clayton was such a beast in the beginning of the game because he'd get over 90 deep route running because you could use like training to get him up to I think a 90 overall, I want to say it was. So he was just such a monster. But let's go ahead and get into these packs. The Mark Clayton card is really good. I know a lot of people wanted to see like, you know... T.O. and you know that's understandable uh obviously people want to see Terrell Owens in the game and maybe some other wide receivers so some people may not be too happy with getting a Mark Clayton card I actually don't mind it I think the card is pretty solid we do get a 50 pull here oh 83 Calvin Johnson I was hoping to be something good right there 85 overall Minka it's Patrick. Now, if you guys did miss my videos last night, make sure you guys go ahead and check them out because uh, if you missed out on the playoff promo or exactly like which players I think are the best, go ahead and take in the solos. If you guys didn't know, these solos do in fact give you a fantasy pack. So you can choose any 95 overall player for free. Check that video out. Let's get 85 Gronk. Skip it. Okay, Lamar Jackson, of course. My, that's my luck right there. Round three, though, we start off with 85 overall Roy Williams. We get some lights. 87 Bobby Bell and an 84. Okay, I was, I was hoping we get glitched there. We got to get at least one. Just give me one like 95 overall poll today. I'm not even asking to get like the LTD legend. I'm not asking to get Mark Clayton or Eric Riddle. I mean, I'd, I'd like it for sure because that Clayton card is pretty good. Although, you know, we do have the new Series 4 coming up. Uh, 87 overall Anthony Harris. Uh, Jimmy G right there. Jamie Collins, which I did actually go over the Series Redux list last night. We get Carson Wentz right there. 95. 85 overall, of course, and we get an 88 overall Leroy Selman. We do have Series 4 coming up. We have Team of the Week coming back on this upcoming Tuesday. Uh, and then Team of the Year, man. I don't know when exactly that's going to be, but Team of the Year has got to be coming very, very, very soon here. So, I'm kind of like not too, let's get 87 overall Bobby Bell, not too hyped to pick up any new cards right now because I feel like Team of the Year, we're going to get a lot of really good cards. We get 89 overall Richie right there, and that is, unfortunately, going to be our pick. Uh, it's an 89 overall poll, but, you know, I'm, I'm looking for those bigger polls. I'm looking for like a 92, 93 overall, at least. Uh, round one here, we do get a Deion Jones. He's like 5,000 coins, so better than nothing. Round two, big poll. 82 LT, okay, 87 Tua, and we'll go with him, and we'll go with the Dak Prescott, 84 overall Richard Seymour, and again, no lights, but we do get Jermichael Finley. Finley is actually a card that I still really, really want to pick up, but I just really feel like we're going to get a super good tight end with Team of the Year, and I know a lot of people have been asking me to do my Team of the Year predictions. I was waiting for the playoff promo to come out because obviously with the playoff promo, that's a ton of 95 overalls. I didn't want to do my Team of the Year predictions just yet because no one from the playoff promo is also going to get a Team of the Year, so I didn't want to like overlay those. Uh, let's get 84 right there. Bad pack, really, really, really bad pack. So I definitely will be doing my Team of the Year predictions probably this upcoming week here. Uh, I have a 
a couple of players in mind. But you guys can let me know down below who you think is going to get a Team of the Year card because I think I, I've got it pretty narrowed down. Not gonna lie, I've got it pretty narrowed down. Round three, Redux. Tony G. Okay. Lights. 90 Deacon, not bad. And we get 88 overall Mark Layton. How, like, how sick is that? That card art is so sick with those glasses. 91 overall Tony G. We'll take him. Also, I know his son, uh, Mark Clayton's son, like at the beginning of the year, was tweeting at like a ton of people, uh, trying to get them to say that like they like the card because if people like the card, I think that they would like renew their license with him. And I mean, I I definitely like the card, and I think uh, a lot of people can agree with me and say that card was one of the best wide receivers in the game at the beginning of the game. Round number three, though, 86 Cliff Harris, 88 Jerry Hughes. All right, this, this bundle hasn't been anything too crazy, but hopefully the toppers will be something a little bit better. If, if we don't end it off here with these final two packs and pull something crazy, we get 82 overall at water. Round two, 83 Seymour. Come on, man. You, you, you got to throw me something, EA. Please? Like a 96? 86. Okay, that's still. Man, these packs are bad. All right, so final Legends Fantasy Pack. Round number one, we didn't get anything good, unfortunately. Round two, we get an 84 and 83. Round three, please LTD, 87 Bobby Bell. How many times are we gonna pull 87 Bobby Bell in this pack opening? That's like the fourth time we pulled him. Let's get into two toppers, guaranteed 88 pluses. Wouldn't be surprised with two 88s with this bundle. 95 Troy Vincent. Okay, so the topper is gonna make me, make me a little happy. Can we get another 95 plus maybe? 89 Rod Woodson. All right, that, that's kind of what I expected there. So we got nothing really good, to be honest. Uh, we got the 95 overall there. We got the 89. So I mean, at least we pulled 180 or 95 overall. But uh, yeah, definitely not too good of a bundle there, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and take a look at these new LTD legends. I do want to see like Mark Clayton. What are you going to do after the catch? That's what I'm most curious about. Uh, you guys can see it looks like People are pulling a decent amount of them. Eric, what else? Take a look at the stats here. You guys can see 94 speed, 94 excel, 90 man, 96 zone, 90 hit power. He's got 95 play rec. Uh, his block shed is 84. Nice. 90 hit power as well. And he's got a, what's his change of direction? 90 change of direction, but he is 5 foot 11 and he's got 89 jumping. So I still think I would go with Sean T over him my personal opinion and then mark clayton here he's got 95 speed 96 excel great route running with play fake maxed out you're looking at 99 short and 99 medium or if you run go deep you're looking at 99 deep route running so really good uh he also does have 96 catch trapping 96 spec catch after the catch 95 juke move 95 change of direction 88 carrying this is a really 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 good card so mark clayton i'm actually pretty uh Pretty excited for that card. That card looks really good. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.